it's Steel Kid Gaming, and I am back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to be talking about uh, values. So, um, in the requirements aren't, like, you don't really need anything since I am not doing any scripting whatsoever. So I'm just gonna, actually, I'll be doing a little bit of scripting, but not to the point where Nobody will get it if you don't know anything about scripting. So uh, why not let's just get started. So although there are around, although there are 10 values, uh, I'm just checking. Yeah, 10 values. There are, I would probably argue there are only six main values, maybe seven, because C frame, but that's basically vector three. So uh, why not let's just get started and talk about what each value, what each of the values are, and um, where, when they can come in handy. So, first one is bool value. I talked about this a little bit in the last uh, tutorial about uh, bool values, where I said true or false. So of course, um, a bool value can, you can think of it as a true false statement. So this right now, the value is false because it is not checked, but when I check it, it is true. So go false, true, false, true, false. Okay. So if you want to, so an example of this in a script would be true and false. Do not worry about this red line. This is just an example. So when the bool value is nothing, it is a false. And when it is true, then it, well, of course it will be true. So I'll just delete that. The next one is color three. Basically it's just color uh, gone by a red RGB, also known as red, green, and blue. So let's say we'll change it to here, okay. This value right here, the very left, is red, the middle value is green, and the very right value is blue. So if you want an example here, right now 255 is the maximum for any color value. So since there's only red, it is fully red, as you can see right here, if you can see my cursor. Now if we change red to zero, of course it'll be black because there's zero value, we change green to 255 or 255, it is now green. And of course blue, we'll turn blue, there you go, and it is blue. So that is the color 3 value. An example in this in a script is color3.new, so uh, if you, so this basically is saying the color 3 and of course, just make a new value. So it's basically saying, this new is just basically saying, change it. And then of course you have brackets. And let's say we want to turn it red. So we'll go two, five, five, zero, zero. Since this is red, green, and blue. So that is a color three value. Next one is a number value. A number value, of course, pretty self-explanatory, can handle any number, 8.9. Of course, this might happen just because it's some sort of processing. So it might go up a bit, but it uh, shouldn't really do anything. So it should be OK, pretty self-explanatory. Um, number is just literally any number like this or this. You get the idea. It can handle decimals too. So that is the number value. Next is string value. A string value is something that can handle text. So let's say Jeff. Jeff. No, 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 no. Jeff. So this is a string value. If you want to have a string value inside something, let's say you want to change uh, some something's text. You have to use uh, quotation marks and then write whatever you want inside. So this is a string value right here, Jeff, quotation marks. 
The next one is an int value. Of course, you could see there's a number, but in this case, this one cannot handle any decimal values because int is basically short for integer, which means any whole number. So it could be like negative 65, positive 78, you get the idea, but it cannot handle like things such as 0 0.5 because in because nothing well it's not a f uh, whole number and the final one is vector 3 so this um, has the three numbers again it these are known for X Y and Z first uh, the very left right here is actually, hold on first number right here is X second number Y third number Z. So X is uh, like left and right, Z is forward and backward, and Y is up and down. So uh, if you want to see a vector 3 value, and since I forgot the int value, an int value is like this or this, uh, a vector 3 value will be vector 3.new. Oh, my bad. So it'll be vector3.new, and then of course, kind of like color 3, new is just saying uh, change change the value. So then you could put x, so let's say x1, y2, and z3 for an, for an example. So there you go. And that's pretty much it uh, for the basic values. Um, I just, of course, my knowledge isn't that great on the other values other than me knowing what a C-frame value is and a brick color value. Uh, brick color is like a really red or lime green C-frame value, basically vector 3 value, but for like camera positioning, uh, model replace, uh, model position moving, you know, you get the idea. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope this was help helpful in some way. Again, if uh, you do have any questions whatsoever. Tell me in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And, uh, yeah. Uh, have a nice day. Um, keep on scripting, and, uh, bye!